So this question here is a little spin on a typical uh, length of a line segment in the sense that we tell you how long the line is and, and saying that it's eight units long and we give you one endpoint which is one comma two and another endpoint of which we do not know what the y value is. So if I were to graph this, what I know, well I'll graph, maybe just draw a diagram, is that one point over here, and again it's anywhere in space, is one comma two. My other end point is five comma k. So five comma k. And the length of this line is eight units long. Doesn't matter the units, we'll just say eight. So here's a case where I have my length, but I do not know what the other endpoint is. So what do I do? I'm going to use my distance formula and apply it. So let me just paste it over here with the points 1 comma 2 and 5 comma k and replace my d value with 8 because I know the distance is 8 units. So let's plug in the values. I'm going to get rid of these x's and these y's. I'm going to replace x, um, say x2 with 5. So there's my x2, my x1 with 1. k will be my y2 value, minus 2 will be my y1 value. So I want to figure out what k is. And what I'm going to do is work backwards from the information I have until I have some kind of way where I can determine what the value of k is. So first things first, let me start by getting rid of this square root sign by squaring both sides. So what happens on my left hand side, the 8 squared becomes 64. And on my right hand side, the square root disappears, so this cancels with this, so to speak. And what I'm left with is 5 minus 1 squared, that is 4 squared, plus k minus 2, and that's all squared as well. Now if I square the 4, I get 64 equals 16, um, plus, and I'm not going to bother to expand this, k minus 2, that's squared. And what I'm going to do now is bring the 16 over to the other side, so it becomes a negative. That means I have 64 minus 16 equals k minus 2, all squared. 64 minus 16 is 48 equals k minus 2, all squared. <laughs> Now at this step, I can solve. What I'm going to do is undo the square here by taking the square root of both sides. So the square root of the right side, the square root of the left side. Keep in mind though that when you take the square root of a number, you actually get two values. Okay. To show this, I'm just going to take a little aside here because it is confusing for some. If I have x squared equals 4, and I take the square root of the left side and the right side, my x value is not just 2, it's actually positive 2 or negative 2. Because if I put a negative 2 into here and square it, my answer is 4. And vice versa, if I put a 2 into here, square it, my answer is still 4. So I'm going to get actually two answers, and we'll see what that means geometrically in a moment. So let me just erase this here, and let's continue with our work. So I have k minus 2, I take the square root of k minus 2 squared, and what I'm left with is plus or minus the square root of 48 equals k minus 2. If I were to bring that 2 over, so take it over to this side, it makes it positive, I will have 2 plus or minus the square root of 48, and that equals my k value. So what does this mean? Well, I can either have k equaling 2 plus root 48, which if you do on your calculator, I believe you get, um, let's see here, root 48, just going to plug that in. 
you should try it on your own. Make sure that you know how to take the screw root of a number. I get 6.928, let's see. So here I have two plus 6.928. Add those together, I get two, well not two, I get 8.93, let's say. Similarly, if I take the negative value and I identify what k is, I have k equals 2 minus root 48, which is the same as 2 minus 6.93, which is the same as negative 4.93. So there, we've done all the work to identify what k is, and we ended up getting two values. So how does this figure into our, our question here? Let's go back to our diagram. So k we found was, firstly, uh, 8.93. So that corresponds to this guy here. Now, what does this other guy correspond to? Well. The key lies in, the, in how I drew the picture, okay? I assumed that the endpoint of this line was on this end here. I'm going to have to move this out of the way to illustrate the other possibility. Let me just move this to the side over here. I could have had my line not go just upwards, but also the other way as well, okay? In fact, this point here could have been 5 comma k let's say. And that's where the other distance, sorry, the other coordinate comes into play. This negative 4.93, well, that's my other value for k. And again, this is also a potential value for 8. Just paste it here. Okay, so that's where the two answers come from. And we're going to explore this more at a later date when we look at the roots of a quadratic function, because essentially that's what we're looking at in this case. Okay?